Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to study how to convert measurement units using ratios and using ratio reasoning. And if you've never seen this before, it can look a little bit odd at first. But I assure you, it is a good tool, a good method that works for all kinds of measuring units and is very useful in science. Okay, it is based on making ratios or making... Some people call it making a special number one. But this is the basis of it. Let's say I have a conversion factor here. One foot equals 12 inches. Now I will treat it as an equation and divide both sides by one foot. Okay? So what happens if I divide this side by one foot? One foot divided by one foot is just one. One. And then over here I get 12 inches divided by one foot. Okay, so this here now, 12 inches divided by 1 foot, it is as if a fraction, but it is also a ratio. 12 inches to 1 foot. Now, I can also, in this equation, if I go back to my original equation, 1 foot equals 12 inches, I could also divide both sides by 12 inches. And then I get another one. If I divide here, I divide this side by 12 inches, I get then 1 foot divided by 12 inches, and then on this side 12 inches divided by 12 inches is 1, okay? So, that is why some people call it a special number 1, because 1 is now written as 12 inches divided by 1 foot, or 1 is written as 1 foot divided by 12 inches, but you can also think of it as a ratio of 1 foot to 12 inches, or 12 inches to 1 foot. Now, when we are converting something, this we're going to convert feet to inches. You probably already know how to do it, but I want to show you with a simple example how this works using these ratios in conversion. I will take this what I have, 17.2 feet, and multiply it by number 1, okay? I multiply it by 1, but instead of writing 1 here, I will write either this or this ratio. Which one though? Now, in the next step, once I write either this or this, I want to cancel out the feet. Okay? And so that's why I want the one where the feet are in the denominator. I want this particular one. So I write here 12 inches over 1 foot. And now, in this multiplication, I can cancel the feet and feet. Okay? Uh, it, to see that, you have to be familiar with, for example, fraction multiplication and fraction simplifying. But remember, you can think of it as a fraction times a whole number or a fraction times fraction. If I put this over 1, then it is like fraction times fraction. The feet here will cancel out. Okay? Then I have 17.2 times 12 and then inches, and here just 1 times 1. Now I'll use the calculator for the multiplication. Okay, 17.2 times, times 12, and I get 206.4 inches. The inches here, it does not cancel out, so the unit inches is still there. Let's look at this example. We'll do it the opposite way, from inches to feet. I'll do the same thing. I'll write this here. Then I write here number 1, I multiply it by number 1, either this or this number 1. And this time I want the inches to be in the denominator, so I choose that one. Okay, 1 foot on top, and then 12 inches here. And now what happens is the inches and inches, the units, will cancel out. This and this, they are gone. So I will have feet as my final unit, and then the calculation here is 268 times 1 divided by 12. Okay? Again with the calculator, it is 268 divided by 12. The times 1 doesn't matter. And this time I get, I have to round this, it is 22.33 feet. Actually exactly 22 and a, and a third of a foot. Or you could say 22 feet and 4 inches. 
Okay, let's go on another example. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. This is now converting between the customary and metric units. And let's say I have so many centimeters. I will first form here my ratio I'm going to use. There's two possible ratios I can get, either this or just the other way around, 2.54 centimeters on top and one inch on bottom. These, both of these ratios equal one, okay? And so over here, I take 171 centimeters and multiply it by one, either by this or this. I want the centimeters be, to be in the denominator, so I'll choose this one, one inch over 2.54 centimeters. And now the centimeters cancel out. Then what I will do is 171 times 1 divided by 2.54. So 171 divided by 2.54. And this is approximately 67.3 inches. Now the inches stay here, they don't cancel out. Over here we have a fraction here, but it won't matter, it will work exactly the same way. I will have 15 and 3 eighths inches and I will multiply that times my ratio, either this or this. Now this time I will choose this one so the inches will be in denominator so I can cancel them out soon. 2.54 centimeters over 1 inch. Now these inches, inches, those cancel out. And then I have this multiplication here to do with my calculator. Your calculator may have a button for fractions where you can actually enter 15 and 3 eighths into it and then just multiply by the decimal. If it doesn't, then before you do this, convert 3 eighths into a decimal, okay? So 3 divided by 8 and we get 0 0.375. So this is actually 15.375, okay? And then that times 2.54 and we get about 39.05 and centimeters is our unit.